everyone. I'm live from Tyler, Texas, using my selfie stick. I'm trying to get Mom's barn in the background for. Um... So listen, I share my videos in my life with Facebook, and my platform is peace, love, and healing, and forgiveness. And if you look at people's walls, you can tell what they're up to and what they're about. That's what mine is. I do repeat my age a lot because I want you to understand at 48 years old, no matter what your age, you can have a great life. And a lot of that first requirement is forgiveness. And speaking of my mother, the majority of you know she's in uh, last stages of cancer, which can be very emotional, brings up a lot of uh, unhealed things. And I'm here's what I want to say. Can we make it national, give mom and dad a break day? Honestly, our parents did the best they could. And it, you don't have to sit with someone very long before they started with their stories about how they're a mother or father was abusive and to what degree it, it doesn't matter listen we're adults now whatever your parents told you you have a new way of believing who you are when I got here the situation didn't go as planned uh, someone had accused me of lying and cheating I was baffled really at first it did piss me off I admit and then I told some friends uh, that I've been friends with a long time we almost busted out laughing honestly when you really get to know who you are what other people say doesn't matter. I don't have to prove myself to anybody because I know who I am. And I, I share this with you because I want you to try and give your mama a break, okay? I know some of you aren't speaking to your mother. Some of you have great relationships wherever you stand with your mama. You never know how much time you got left with her. And I was looking for um, um, a definition of grace the other day. And I had to share this Facebook status. And I hope that whoever really wrote this can... Uh, let me know who you are because I didn't copy it. I was so quick to uh, copy and paste this. But just listen to this, how it might apply to your life. Grace is when you know that there are people who will pre pretend to want your services only to try to get as much free information from you as they can. Imagining themselves to be so slick and clever. It is patiently giving them their answers and guidance even when you know they will take your information and run. It is knowing that those you are meant to work with, who value you, will find you and trusting that process with absolute faith and conviction while in the meantime helping those who have not yet come to understand. It is stepping back silently when they celebrate feeling they have pulled one over on you or taken advantage and immediately offering forgiveness for their lack of really seeing the abundance and goodness in the universe that's all around them. You know, when I first started coaching, I told my coach, uh, it was like baptizing a cat two years ago when I really took coaching seriously. It was not an easy process. I had to unlearn all the ways of protecting myself. Like when we were kids, you know, your knee-jerk reaction was to lie. Who broke the lamp? Not me. So why would we be any different? We need someone to teach us to unlearn the bad behavior or let's say unhealthy behaviors that aren't working for ourselves. And I am, I, I say I am grace, I am abundance, I am forgiveness. I keep saying this, so that's who I am. And then I don't have to worry about somebody saying I was lying and stealing. That's really kind of funny. Anyway, I share my life with you so you can realize that no matter what, you can have an extraordinary life. It starts with uh, forgiveness and getting to know who you really are. And that's where you'll find some more peace. Have a great day.